piston. So, eh? 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 Redstone. Iron. There. So, now. Pistons. Gears. Glass. Ham. Alright. Now. Let's see. Alright. Now to figure out the macerator. So, I'm going to need to cook a lot of shit. I'm also going to need to remember how to build a... I can't remember if it's called a siphon or something. It's a thing that you use to get where are you? Rubber. Down here in the basement. Oh. Alright. So, I've got those. So, where's that copper ore? I know where's we have a... carrot I planted? Mmm. -hmm. So oh, my carrots are ready. Copper. Put the iron. Alright. So... I need, I'll put this in here for now. Should probably come up. It's getting a bit dangerous down here. Is it? Well, it probably will shortly. Well, it's a little rainy up here. Um, I also, um, tap. I need to make a tap. Tree tap. Five blocks of wood. Is a tree tap the tap you need? Yes. Okay. And then I have to find rubber trees. A fuck ton of them. Uh, the best thing to do once you find them, if they're growing in a relatively easily accessible area, mm -hmm. is to... Uh, take all of the leaves off of them. That way you can access every block... That way, if, um, you can spot the rubber growing on it, the, like, trunk. Alright, well, it's nice out now. The weather seems to have cleared up. Because I slept. Ah, well, there you go. That is still weird that you can sleep and it turns into the day. Handy, though. Yeah. Rup. What does it even look like outside when I do that? It just went from dark to light. In uh, a very unsettling kind of way. Like, did I just lose time? Did it X files while I wasn't looking? Although I don't think it actually advances plant growth when only one of us does it. Yeah. Well, I don't think there's any way for two of us to do it because it does it instantly as soon as you sleep. From look at it. No, but I mean, like, if both of us got in bed at the same time. Mm, true. Alright. And it's the dark trunked rubber trees, if I remember correctly. That are the ones that actually give you the proper rubber. The light truck trunked ones, I don't believe do. Yeah, the industrial craft rubber trees, which are the... God damn it, dirt block. That's really starting to annoy me. What's going on? I you oh, the dirt, dirt slimes, yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, it's cute, but at the same time, that's a creepy ass creeper. What the fuck are you? There's a lot of these fuckers. What are they? <laughs> They're not normal creepers. Concussive creature or creeper. They don't destroy the ground, apparently. Uh huh. They just cause a concussive force. All right, whatever. Spruce wood, spruce. Bruce wood. Isn't there some machine in one of these uh, feed the beast packs that basically will auto breed your livestock? Yes. Do you know what it's called? Nope. Swell. It'll probably be somewhere in the forestry mod though. If you go look at that wiki. Um, if you have any desire to stop and look at a wiki. Well, actually, if we use the uh, not enough items thing. Oh, yeah. That can actually filter by 
uh, mod. I really, really need to just start tearing down all the trees around here so that the only trees that are left are rubber trees. Has if ever... only we had, um, what's face, tree capitator installed. Well, after the next episode, which for me is 15 minutes, we could always stop and try and, ah, oh, god damn it, I dug straight down and accidentally hit a dirt block with the axe, so it <laughs> immediately attacked me. That is getting old. Electrical engine, clockwork engine, bottler, biogas engine. Yeah. Heat fired engine. Alright. Carpenter. There's a block that's just called the carpenter. Yes. It what does that do? It might auto harvest trees. Oh. Squeezer. That removes oils from uh, whatever you put into it that can be used for various purposes. Thermionic Fabricator. That does exactly what it sounds like. It, it, fa it, it thermions? It fabricates thermions. I don't even know what a thermion is. Me neither. But it fabricates them faster than either you or I have ever seen before. Um, yeah, I might have to investigate the wiki for this because I'm not finding in here. Unless it's in items and not blocks. Alright. I'm going to put some iron in this chest up here. Do I have any of the regular... Regular rubber saplings? No, that's right. The ones from uh, the mod I'm actually looking for are stupidly rare. All right. And I'm not gonna tear them down or tear too much of it down in the hopes of getting any either. So, tear down all of the fool's rubber. And we have saplings for that, so it don't fucking matter. Just realize I probably shouldn't be walking around with these diamonds. Probably not. I know it would just end up in your grave if worst happened, so. That's true, but... That would still be inconvenient at some point or another. Yeah, extremely. Unless they changed it, I don't believe the rubbers were interchangeable for making copper wire. I'll have to check, actually. Because now that I mention I actually think I it is changed and I'm stupid. So, there's that. Okay. All right. Oh, so the uh, city we saw off to the west that we didn't have time to get to apparently is walled off. All right, why don't we go and see about that? Um, yeah, might as well. Uh, let me build a chest real quick and put shit away. Um, that's weird. The rubber wood gives three. Do you have any arrows? Um, not in me, but I think I put some in the chest upstairs. I'm not sure if that's entirely true at this point, but, you know. Um, no, actually, I think I took those earlier. Ah. All right. I'll take the pieces of flint with me. We can grab some feathers on the way. I've got a piece of flint down here in this chest, though, that I just put in, so I know it's real. <laughs> the arrows you put in the one upstairs are probably real, too, except I stole out of that earlier. Yeah. Alright, I'll take a thing. Yeah, because what we can do, once we have the raw materials, is we can use that forge thing over there to actually make quite a number of terrifying weapons. Because hmm. you could have like a, uh, oh god, I'm trying to think, obsidian sword, which is about the level of diamond, that has a, uh, like, steel handle and 
a whole bunch of other ridiculous crap. Uh-huh. Oh, there's that king slime. Yeah, I'm convinced he's on that slime island above us. Ow, I fell down. Probably so. There's a cave. Alright, so where is that village? West. Alright, go west, young man. Having a journey to the west. I was amused that apparently Rob is amused that, um... He, apparently, he is so, according to him, he is so liberal that apparently he's turned your entire show liberal by proxy. Uh. Uh. Because people were complaining about how liberal everyone it is, or on it is. Ah, no, I tune out all that crap. Yeah. He was like, no, we're really not. Is that the king slime? Where? In this pond here. Uh, let me teleport to you and find out. Huh. That looks like a king slime. Am I insane is the question. Well, not necessarily. Yeah, that's a king slime. Uh, well, we're fighting this now. I wasn't entirely sure if we were going to, just, but... Just back off. I'll get it with the bow. Probably. Let me eat some bread. Well, I think you got it. Nope. It's just on top of a tree now. Well, you got it. And it turned into dozens of little slimes. And they drop... Gelatinous slime balls. Oh, that's right. These can be turned into tools. Actually, it dropped a king slime excavator. That, and a, is that a good thing? It's a shovel, apparently. Oh. Let's see what this is like. Uh, oh, wow. Well, that'd be mine. <laughs> hey, I got attacked by it, too. Actually, here. Here's your shovel. I know you shovel. killed it, though. <laughs> well, have your shovel. It's a very nice shovel. Okay, so we found out where the king slime was. Okay, we now know it's very much worth killing a king slime if we see one. And not all that difficult, either. Right. Also, now it's nighttime. Or getting to be. Well, I guess we should start running. Which way? <laughs> well, we're kind of possibly equal distance between them. Um... Horse seed leaves. Yeah, no, we're actually much closer to our own village, so... Oh, well, I'm gonna wander this way. Nah, no, I'll head back. I'll head back with you. At least one of us needs to get back to our own place, because... And then they can bed? Yeah. Honestly, we ought to just bring a bed with us from now on, since apparently we can just make it day. And only one of us needs to sleep. And what in the hell is this? Mm. Eldritch Obelisk. Oh, it's one of those things. Uh. I don't think we have the means to do anything with it right now. It terrifies and, me, actually. And otherwise, if we just leave it alone, I don't think it'll hurt us. And I'm Although hoping... They generate those angry zombies. Oh, God, that's right. I'm only going to have to hide in this tree until you get to a bed, because I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere. You really need to learn to get around. Well, I got distracted by the Eldritch Obelisk. I mean, I can see where you are, but there was an obelisk, and it was Eldritch. Which is always one of my favorite things, because all that really means is odd or peculiar. But it sounds so cool sounding. It's actually a really good story called, um, Shoggoth's Old Peculiar by, uh, Neil Gaiman. Which was about him, you know, Basically, meeting a bunch of people from an H.P. Lovecraft story where everyone was creepy and evil in some way. Uh-huh. And, uh, yep, it definitely produces those angry zombies. Yes, but they also burn the daylight, don't they? It's big. Have you noticed that? It also is killing me. And keeps oh. getting larger. I also can't seem to be able to hit it. I think only magic can hurt it. There's another one over here. God damn it. So I'm thinking we should probably stay away from the obelisk. Yep. Well, let's focus on you and not me. All right, well, I'm running. Uh, all right. You're headed back towards that crater, I see. Um, well, that was the most direct route away from the zombie. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out how I can direct myself to meet back up 
Cause... All right. Well, I'm actually uh, heading toward you. All right. And I'll just continue heading west since we're pretty close together. All right. Um. So basically, what you're saying is we need some magic tools. Yeah. Oh god damn it! That one has another fucking YouTuber on his head. Is that Hitler? Oh no, it's Link. Is that Hitler? It looked like instead of Link, there was just a guy with his hand out. You know, Hitler-like. I've done the one arrow, by the way. So, um... Oh, I'm down to cow right now. Yeah, the gelatinous slime I think can be melted down in a forge. Is that some kind of witch? Might be. Coven witch. Oh yeah, I think they're friendly. Yeah, it's not being hostile. That was weird. Oh shit, is this the... I think this is the edible rock. Oh. The appetite. I mean, it might be. It might not be. So which way are we headed? Um... Let me see. Yeah, the thing is, I saw the village oh, I see the it. distance before. I see okay, it we just didn't go far enough. That is a big-ass wall. Yeah. And this forest is actually way out nicer than our last one. I'm thinking the walled city is our new home. Is that a giant pig, or am I just misseeing things? I think it's a pink tree. It is a pink tree that looked like a giant pig from the distance. Okay. Uh, now, let's see. From what I understand, these walled cities have entrances on just two sides. All right. So, we might be walking for a little bit to find a way in. Mm. All right. Well, I hear an Enderman in the vicinity. Is... And apparently I got poisoned on something. I don't know. Randomly. Oh, yeah, that's right. There are plants that stick you. Oh, uh, okay. Well, it was short-lived anyway. Oh. All right. Oak trees. Well, if the trees are a little higher, we can just climb over the wall. Actually, you can, and I have. Oh, hey. Oh, wow. Yep, this is our new home. But all of our stuff's in the other one. But, well, well, well look at this place once you get up here. Yeah, but all of our stuff's in the other one. Well, we'll move it. I mean, I've helped a lot of people move. I'm used to the effort. I hate it, but I'm used to it. I think that the streets are broken as shit. Oh, what in the... Oh, God. No. Mistcraft. I forgot about Mistcraft. Oh, God. I mean, it's neat as shit, and I think that you will probably figure out how easy it is to abuse very quickly. There's no blacksmith shop here from what I can see. No. But uh, in Mistcraft, you can build your own world. Like an extra dimension, like the Nether. And you from can get. I understand those are easy to get wrong, and then they just start screwing everything up. Yeah, it'll only screw up that world, though. Oh, God, there's an apiarist hut. Oh, great, bees. There's a giant oil pool. Again? Apparently, there's one of those in every town, standard. Uh, I don't know what these are, but I'm taking all of them. Thank you. Book of Biomes, Distilling, and Herbology. Observations of an Immortal. Okay, they're all books and shit. That's kind of neat. Let's see, is this? No, this isn't the thing you can eat. For some reason, I remember some mod where there was a rock you could eat if you got hungry. Uh, I like this place. I think we should move here. And we don't even really need to... That's a deep-ass cave. Yes, and I think the uh, door to this tower is on the side that's, you know, open to the air. Well, you know. Nothing easy is ever simple. Especially when it comes to us. Nope. Or as they say, nothing easy is ever simple unless it's your mom. Okay, extra sword. Oh, hey, stuff. Hmm. Hey, guards. Yeah, try not to, try not to start killing these, because, you know... Uh, oh, no.